Hey there. It's time for another video, something fun to try. I got permission from the photographer to use this photograph for my experiment here. So here is what I'm going to do. A quick, very quick lesson, a quick sketch with my Micron 005 archival ink pen. These are my favorite. I have them in a bunch of different sizes, but I'm using the 005 because I want a very fine line. And all I'm going to do is try very hard to sketch this out without a whole lot of thought. And I'm gonna try not to take my hand off of the paper or my pen off of the paper the entire time. Now, I'm guessing already that there's gonna be a couple times I need to do it, but I'm gonna give it a shot. So I'm gonna sketch and I'm gonna to try to have one continuous line. So that means I might have to back, backtrack a little bit and just kind of go back and forth to do real sketchy marks. Don't be too concerned about the angles, okay? That's not the point of this exercise. We're gonna do a line and wash effect here, which means a lot of pen sketching, a lot of lines, and just a tad of color for an overall wash. But the point is to just very quickly sketch something, almost as if you were going to do a quick little sketch for a kindergartner or a small child who just wants to see a picture. That's a very rough sketch, very quick. But it's gonna make a beautiful scene. And here is how we're gonna do it. This is just a fun experiment, okay? Nothing, nothing super high skilled in this one today. So for mine, I'm gonna use my very favorite brush, the Utrecht number 10 round brush. And I'm gonna start by very quickly doing a wash of sky. I'm probably gonna do some mix of purple and blue and keep it light and just throw it on without a whole lot of thought, okay? It's okay if I'm not on the lines. The point of this line and wash is to give illusions. And that is what we were doing. Then I'm gonna take a really pale green Actually, you know what? Let's do yellow. Make it nice and springy, just the illusion. I'm gonna lay down some color on this one here. This is another shrub. For a little dimension, I might dot a little purple on it. This is all very quick. I like to teach people to paint quickly because it it keeps them from trying way too hard, okay? If you try way too hard, you're not gonna have any fun. And today we're gonna be like kids. Okay, now we need a very subtle blue on this. And that is way too obvious. So let's lighten that up a little bit. I don't care if I'm staying in the lines or not, okay? It does not matter to me. If this turns out a little cartoony, I'm fine with that. I just want to do something different. And today is the day. Lay some color there. And then, hmm, this might be 
the type of gray structure there. Who cares? A little burnt sienna for this beautiful building, a real light wash. Not sure if I actually drew a roof in, but now it's there. And then this is a different color roof. We're just gonna lay the color on. Sloppy, sloppy, sloppy. You're gonna thank me for that. A little more color there. Oh, here, we forgot about this roof. It's okay if they run together. I want this to be a little more red than the others. And I don't care if they all run. I think that's gonna be beautiful. Let's see, now um, let's do the background, the, the landscape in the background. I'm just gonna use the colors I have on my palette all mixed up, which is a whole lot of everything. So there's gonna be some light gold in my palette. And I'm gonna put that up there. Go right over the trees real quick. I'm gonna add some other colors so it's not boring. It is a very light, beautiful background. And there's like some purple in there. And oh, I better be careful. I'm getting too precise again. It's a it's a trap. It's a trap. Very good. Not a lot of detail in that background, okay? Stay loose. Stay loose, everybody. I think I need to have a t-shirt that says that for you all. I'm just grabbing a bunch of colors, okay? And I'm letting them all run together without a whole lot of thought. What is this space? Oh, I think that was a hill. Uh, well, maybe not anymore. Who knows where you are? There. This would be a good time to add the trees. Nothing too vibrant, just something different than the background. I'm just laying the color down. I know the background is wet, so I'm hoping it will carry the trees up. And how about here? What are we gonna do with these? Some pine trees, maybe just the illusion. This is so fun. I always feel like a real, like amazing artist when I paint this loose just for fun. And I think it's because sometimes when I was growing up and I would watch another artist paint, it seemed like they were just going, they had their brush and they were going la 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 here and there. And it seemed so effortless. And then I realized it is effortless. It actually is. You just have to put all your your shoulds and have tos and rules. You have to put the rules aside. It looks so much better then. I'm going with pure feeling. I'm just throwing color down and um, seeing what happens. This is cute. This is really cute. So I want some of these trees in the background so, use a side of my brush, make indistinct little lines. It's so fun to have permission to just do whatever. It's so fun. I like this. I like the background. I like how we can throw colors anywhere and it's acceptable. 
I love how we can put some purple down here and some purple over, oops, over here, and it ends up being something believable. I love it. Makes me very happy. And I'm gonna add a little bit of dark to some of these, just a little for a small horizon line. Nothing too obvious. Pretty. Bring back these pine trees a little bit. Yeah, maybe this this one. You can always come back and do that later. Let's get on with these buildings. Oh wait, I have one more tree to do. I almost forgot. There was a shrubby tree thing here. Um, let's see. A little darker towards the bottom. We'll let the water carry that away. And I did have little shrubs that I had thought of earlier. So I better paint those in there and there. Hmm. I think it's good. Add a little dimension here. La 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 la. I like it. I forgot a roof line. Oh, I forgot this one. That's really dark. How about some Payne's gray? A little focal point there in our little village scene. Okay, oh, we forgot this one too. Oh my gosh. This little one here. Very good. And I think I have one more. There is one here. I don't really understand where it's going, but we don't have to. It's just the illusion of something. There, that made it believable. Nice. Now the sides of the building. So most of them are white, but let's make them a really light, light blue. really light on all of the sides you can bury it a little bit if you need to I, I just really like them to seem like they're white there there and I think there's one here Just a little color on, on all of them is all it needs. Whoa, didn't mean to lay down all that purple. But hey, that turned out okay after all. There. And then I wanna go back in in a little bit and we're gonna actually put the shadows under the roof line and um, make this left side of the picture here that's dark, we're gonna make those dark. So I'm gonna whip out my hair dryer for a minute. So remember, all we're doing at this moment is washing paint on very loosely. This is not an, a project where we get super detailed, but now I do want to bring out some details and I'm going to get kind of a purpley blue. And now we're going to highlight the side of this cathedral top. It's very dark on one side. So that's what we're going to concentrate on. It's also dark under there. That's all we need, really. And let's start adding some dark spots under these rough lines. Nothing major. Oops. I'm going to get my smaller brush out for that.
just a real little line under some of these. Ooh, that looks pretty, that contrast against everything else. Gorgeous. There. It's these little things that, um, that make a, a line and wash painting so beautiful. How about a dark side to the chimney over here? Half of it will be dark. Carves that out a little bit. That looks good. And oh, there was a chimney here that we didn't include. So let's give the illusion of one. Okay. And I'm excited about making the side of this building nice and dark. I've been looking forward to that for since I first started this painting. You can always make it darker, but I'm going to start Oops. Oh, so pretty. Don't make it too straight cuz remember there's a shrub around there. Oh, that's so cute. So cute. And let's make this one. This is also in the shade. We're going to carve this out. I'm going to leave that chimney showing and I'll go back and paint that later. Now we're getting some dimension here. Beautiful. And then the windows. This is fun. Just a hint of a window, just a little touch of your paintbrush, maybe two touches. Cute. And these. I just, I think I'm just gonna paint the left side of those and then get the right side wet and carry it over like that. Well, at this point, we could do more, but I think it's pretty cute. I think all I want to do is make the side of this building um, in the shade. So I'm going to get a fairly dry brush and kind of scratch some color on there. I like it. Oh, and the chimney, little chimney here. There we go. Let's make this chimney look like I actually planned it to be there because I didn't. Good. I think you can go on and on doing details if you wanted to. But the point of this was just to do a quick wash. So I'm, I'm happy with it. I would like to add some more gold to this. I didn't like that it was green. There. Now, I am going to dry this a little bit because I want to show you one other thing that we can do with our pen and make little hashtag marks. So let's dry this. Okay, I did cheat a little bit when I was blow drying and I just darkened up some of these shrubs here. I wanted the trees to be a little more pronounced. So here's something you can do for the final touches. I'm using my Micron 005 Archival Ink Waterproof Pen again. 
and I'm gonna start making little hashtags to make things darker and in some spots. So for this side of the building, I'm just gonna make kind of a series of lines that go like this and then go the other way, real light, really scratchy. And it gives it kind of a shaded effect. There, that's pretty. Um, this building seems super plain to me, so I do wanna give some type of a texture to it. And I think I'll for sure give it some texture under here. And maybe, hmm, maybe just a hint of boards going vertical. So just real scratchy, not straight lines from top to bottom, but just a few running running up and down. Uh, for shingles, I'm going to make a series of lines that go with the direction of my roof. And then every so often, I'm going to scratch something out going left and right, but not actual direct uh, straight lines all the way across. So that's pretty. You can do the same thing for this. Go the direction of the roof, real scratchy and light. And then we'll do kind of a basic back and forth, not straight, just kind of scribble. And now you have a roof. That is beautiful. I don't know how many I want to do this effect on. I don't want to do it too often, but it is kind of addicting. So um, let's do this one here. Follow the direction, the slope of the lines. Go straight across a couple times like that. Um, I'm going to leave this one and we could do, um, we could do a, a clay roof on this one and that's pretty much by um, mm, kind of making little arcs like this. So it looks like it's got those clay tiles and the same with this. I'm going to go the direction of the slope and make little raised half circles every so often. And now you have that look. How cool is that? So for the trees, um, the trees, I like to just make a bunch of little, little lines every so often, little squiggles, not everywhere, not everywhere. Maybe you can make a branch or two, not too obvious, just the illusion of that. Um, this. These pine trees you can make not a straight line all the way up leave some gaps but then you can even take your pen and scratch a little the illusion of some um, boughs so that looks good uh, this tree these two need something so let's do let's do something Just a bunch of little hashtags, squiggles, whatever you feel. Add some depth. That's pretty. And over here, how about some grasses? Not too planned out, just a few. Maybe there's some weeds. You could add a fence right now if you wanted to, but I don't think I want to. Um, let's see. I'm gonna add some scratching at the bottom to give a shadow, the cross hatching. That looks good. some trees I think it's looking pretty good I don't know if I want to do anything up here other than maybe give a little separation to where I painted and hmm, I think that's it guys that's all I'm feeling unless you wanted to do a little brick 
look on some of these chimneys. You can add a couple of squares. And oh, the corner of that building. I think it looks good. What do you all think? Do we need something here? I'm trying to see where all the blank spaces are that make me want to fill it, but I also know better than to fill everything. So I actually like this the way it is. Um, I might give a little extra definition to this structure because it is so important, but I'm happy. And I don't know what this white space is. I don't care, let the viewer figure it out. I'm not too worried about it. Let's rip this tape off. Sign our name. Oh, I shouldn't have put all those little marks there. That's difficult, but I'll use my gel pen. Anyway, that's it. You can sign it however you want. This is a very cute little original for anyone to do. Please make sure you get permission from a photographer if you think you're going to sell these, okay? Make sure you always get permission to use a photo. Thank you guys for watching. Have fun, stay loose, and just add water.